So remote online learning, today I wanted to share with you um, a live document that I've created. I began it last night around 12 hours ago, actually, um, with just compiling all of the information and the details that you can use while we're all embracing remote online learning. So on this document, what you're gonna see and what you can actually share and what we will continue to add is related articles and suggested activities about remote learning, the do's and the don'ts, as well as instructional tools on how to teach teachers through video um, using platforms that most of us use every single day, whether that is IG Live, whether that's Facebook Live, YouTube, Google Hangout, Google Classroom, all of these tools and suggested ideas are gonna be a part of this living document. The teacher team collaboration, Google Drive. So even if it's teachers that's coming together on social media, creating a drive, on um, uh, creating the folder, excuse me, and activities for students and teachers to be able to tap into and download while we are embracing this remote online learning. One thing that I have on here that I, that I think that is very special and that we need to make sure that we make, um, that we are very attentive to is the parent contact piece. And this parent contact piece is where we are already sending out newsletters. We're already in contact with parents every week. And so in this piece, just add your link. So if you don't have a YouTube a channel, you don't use IG Live, you don't use Facebook Live, you don't do these things, well, create a video just talking to your parents telling them what to expect during this time using any platform from video shoot from iMovie where you just sit here and talk and you just upload that video take that link and put it on your newsletter so parents can actually hear your voice and see where if it is one of the things that you will be teaching students through video um, they can become more familiar with and they'll know exactly what to expect when they are making sure that the students are accountable while they're home one of the other things that I wanted to share on here is ways to make sure that differentiation is in place because you wanna make sure that all the needs of students um, on students are being met. And so differentiation is one of the things that was, um, uh, that was heavy on my heart as I was creating this list. And I, my, one of my go-tos is readtheory.org because it meets the students right where they are. But we have so many more. Um, we have MobyMax, we have iReady, we have um, IXL, so many different platforms all out there. These links are on here. Um, this will be in the bio, the link in the bio to this living document. I am adding as more ideas are coming to me, um, more suggestions are being given to me in my DM. I'm just adding these suggestions on this living document. Another thing is suggested apps for students and teachers. And so right now we're up to 25 different suggested apps that's for you. In all of this, making sure that we are meeting the needs of our students, I want to share with you three different things. To remain calm, to make sure that you spread that in remaining calm, that you are also making sure that you are part of the calmness that needs to take place. Don't be a part of the chaos. Let's not spread fear. Let's spread peace. Let's make sure that we are sharing with our students that everything is going to be fine. We're in this with them. Um, it's just a bit of a change that we're all going through a transition. You can still have fun. That's why these videos are so important. So they can see you, they can hear your voice, something that they see every single day. Um, they won't be able to see and hear until this is the time for remote learning is over. Another thing that we want to make sure is that we, we do what we do. We do this every single day. Some of us, up to 150 students we see every day. They see us, they are used to the way we teach. They're used to how we interact with them on a daily basis. Do that. No expectations, there's no wrong way. You've been doing it now for almost over, well, I know we hit the 100 day mark for most schools. And so you've been doing this for 100, for 100 days if you're a first year teacher. Um, and so you have this, you got it. You just get on, you share what you need to share, teach the content, be confident in what you're doing and get it out there for their students. And then the last thing that you wanna make sure that you are um, doing is being reactive. Don't wait. Um, if you're in a district and there's not any type of remote learning plan, there's not, you haven't heard anything about any online plan and you're scrambling and you're like, oh, I have to make copies. I have to do that. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't wait, get on, create a video while you're teaching, um, 
whatever it is that you're teaching, if today is your last day before your school district goes on break, which is the case for me, vi record yourself videoing. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> record yourself um, teaching whatever it is that you want your boys or your students to know um, for the time that they will be out of school. And so in all of this, we're in this together. This is a living document. If you have any resources that you want to share, if you have a Google Drive, a Google folder that you want teachers to be able to tap into and use, you feel like it will be beneficial for them, please send it over in my DM. I will add it to this living document. And let's be a support to each other. Tap into your teachers on social media. They're your guide right now. Have a great day.